Hey, a few months ago I made a video looking up the Python library Pretty Maps, which allows you to create beautiful maps of anywhere in the world uh, with a bit of configuration. And since then, there's a rewrite of Pretty Maps called Pretty Map that's been done that is looking really neat. It's elegant, it's a little bit simpler, but much faster and much easier to use. So here I wanted to just run through that a little bit and uh, spread awareness of this lovely tool. So this is something that is based entirely on the Pretty Maps project. It's a rewrite of that, and it focuses on speed and adapted configuration so you can interface with the web app. You don't need to tweak code, Python code, to get things working, and uh, doesn't maybe have as many complex configuration options, but uh, it is easier to use and really snappy. So let's take a run. Um, it's by the user Creeke, and you can try it out online. It's hosted on Streamlit, and it has a few cool examples, and it's creating map, but it doesn't take long at all, much faster than the Python pretty maps. Here we have a little map of Macau, and we can load the same for Barcelona, and it doesn't take long. And you have this beautiful web interface where you can place the location address, which you can go fetch from OpenStreetMap, where you run, and wait a while, and we get a new map. And there we have a beautiful map that shows a bit more of Barcelona and a different color scheme. So what else can we do with Pretty Map? Uh, we have these customization options where the color scheme can be set more specifically, we can choose between a circle and a rectangle, can have a title or hide it, change the background size, and some other basic parameters as well as where the title is placed. So not as much as you can control in the code with pretty maps, but quite a lot of the critical things you do want to be able to control to make these little beautiful maps, especially the shape, the title, and the color scheme. So let's try and create our own little experiment. Let's maybe fly over to Panama. Let's actually use the Macau presets. Circle, circle, call it Panama. And run it. See what happens. Beautiful little loop in the sea in Panama. That's wonderful. Uh, let's fly back to Venice for another experiment. Um, lovely Venice, maybe citrus colors. See what that would be like. Um, call it Venice. Do we change the background color? Perhaps not. Point for width. Let's give it a try. Submit and run. Ah, and there we have a little citrusy, lemony slice of Venice. I think this is absolutely lovely. What a great development on a beautiful library already. Um, please give it a go. I urge everybody to jump over to the site where you can test this out, or you can install it locally and run it, as long as you keep the attributions going. You can have a great amount of fun exploring the world and creating these little maps that you can uh, then... Uh, download and have fun with. Okay, thanks for watching. Go have fun. Catch you next time.